Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Viv. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this wonderful convertible cowl. You can attach a string and it will be a beautiful beanie. I will show you later. So, for this tutorial, you for this pattern, you will need a measurement tape, some stitch markers, of course scissors, yarn needles, and I will use this yarn, it's the same yarn I've used for uh, Shelbini. And uh, let's see, I will show you how to make the perfect beanie for every one every head so i measured my head and my head circumference is 23 inches that means let's see 58 centimeters so our starting chain is going to be 21 inches. You have to measure your starting chain and subtract 2 inches or more or less. You just measure your head with this starting chain. You know after you're you gonna work a few rows this chain it will be bigger you know you know what i mean okay so and let's say your beanie is ready your cowl beanie is ready and doesn't fit perfect i am going to show you how to make this cowl beanie to fit your head your neck and uh, you don't have to frog it and make another one. I'll show you. So, for this pattern, we are going to make a multiple of 6 plus 7 chains. Here I have 36 plus 7. Okay. And let's get started. I have a 9 millimeters hook. You can use any yarn, any crochet hook size you have. And you can adjust the starting chain and it will fit perfect. So, we are going to make two double crochet in fourth chain from our hook. So one, two, three, four. And here let's make two double crochet. This chain, three chain, count like first double crochet. So two double crochet in four chain from the hook and skip two chains, skip two and single crochet in next chain. You'll see it very very easy. Now chain three. Skip two chains, one, two and shell we are going to make a shell shell let's say it will be three double crochet so shell three double crochet into the next chain so one two and three skip two chains 
and single crochet in next chain and this is our pattern so chain three let's repeat chain three skip two chains shell in next chain so shell it's three double crochet in same chain or stitch this is a perfect last minute gift it's a quick project and you are going to love it i'm sure uh, okay now um, skip two chains and single crochet in next chain three skip two and shell in next chain one two skip two and single crochet in next across to the end of chain okay so chain three skip two and shell one two Now skip two and single crochet. Chain three, skip two chains and shell. Skip two chains and single crochet in next chain. Now chain three. Skip two chains. Shell in next chain. So three double crochet. skip two and single crochet in last chain yes okay this is our first row now for the second row chain three and turn and let's make two double crochet in same stitch here as beginning chain three so two double crochet and chain three count like a double crochet now single crochet here in third double crochet so this is the shell one two three and single crochet into this stitch so it's our third double crochet of the next shell now chain three And shell in next single crochet this is our single crochet and we are going to make three double crochet here or shell chain 
chain 3 and single crochet in that chain of next shell and this is our pattern to repeat chain 3 shell in next single crochet Chain three, single crochet in the chain of our next shell. Chain three and shell in our next single crochet. One, two, and Now chain 3 and single crochet in the double crochet of our next shell, chain 3 and shell in next single crochet. And this is our pattern, you can repeat it, repeat this across, so chain 3 and single crochet in the chain of our next shell, chain 3 and shell in next single crochet. One. Two and three. Chain three. Single crochet in that double crochet. Chain three and shell in next. in next single crochet chain 3 and our last single crochet it will be here 1 2 so skip 1 2 and it will be in our that chain of starting chain or turning chain single crochet and you have to repeat this row 2 until you have the desired length so let's see now our beanie it has our beanie or our convertible cowl So now it's 20, 21 inches, but you can see this one is stretchy, oh, sorry. So let's repeat row 2 one more time, chain 3, turn, 2 double crochet, in same stitch as chain 3 now single crochet in top double crochet of our next shell chain 3 shell in next single crochet one, 
two. Three. Chain three. Single crochet in third double crochet of our next shell. Chain three. And shell in next single crochet. One. Two. Three. Chain three. And single crochet in double crochet of our next shell. Chain three. Shell in next single crochet. So shell is three double crochet in same stitch. Chain three. And single crochet in that double crochet, chain three, shell in next single crochet, one, two, three, chain three, and single crochet. In the chain, in the double crochet, sorry, of our next shell. Chain three and shell in single crochet. One, two, three. Chain three. Single crochet here, chain three, and shell. Now our next single crochet, one, two, three, chain three, and skip one. Two and single crochet in that chain of our turning chain. So this is our pattern. It looks beautiful. And you can repeat this row as many times you want for this one. I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. Here you can see I've changed a little bit. So instead of three double crochet, I've made a puff stitch because I wanted to see how it looks. I think it looks beautiful also. So this is shell, three double crochet in, in same stitch. And here it's a puff stitch for double crochet in same stitch and uh, pull the loop, uh, the last loop to all four. So you can do this if you like to. To finish our beanie, you can uh, add a one single crochet or double crochet row. I will show you. So let's repeat this for. Uh, I'm going. We are going to see. I will make let's say seven rows, and I'll measure, and we are going to see. I'll meet you after five or six more repeats of row two so for the repeat chain three turn two double crochet 
in same stitch as chain 3 here you let's not make so here you are not go going to make three chains you are going to single crochet in third double crochet of our next shell and after this you have to repeat chain 3 shell in next single crochet chain 3 single crochet in third double crochet of next shell and just repeat until the end of row and I'll meet you after our repeats. Okay, and now we are here. Let me show you my beanie. Already fits my head. When I've had, let's see. So here where the stitch marker, first stitch marker is and let's see we have one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so after ten rows this mini it will fit my head but I added, let's see, one, two, three more rows because I want this beanie be a little ruffled. I will show you in the end. Okay, so now my beanie is 22 inches. See? My head is 23 inches, but because this yarn it's stretchy this it's perfect for me but let's say your beanie your cowl beanie it's too small and i'll show you how to add a nice finish here in the first row and in the last row so how how to find our right side right and wrong not right and left okay so when i start i've started this is my chain and i know that this part it's on a wrong side so this one is the right side and this one it's my wrong side okay also you will need a smaller hook this one is seven millimeters so for the beanie the, uh, this is nine milli, uh, nine millimeters crochet hook but you can use any crochet hook and any yarn you have and you like okay now let's see so this is our beanie so far and let's say our beanie is too small this is easy or you, you know you want your cowl to be a little bigger you can add more rows here on the sides you know and here on the other side let's chain one so this is our last repeat i have already chain one and let's make Okay, let's place a stitch marker here because I want to know. Let's see. I want to know where my side will end. So here. And let's make 
half double crochet. You can make single, double, but this time let's make half double. Half double crochet evenly in on this side. So chain one and half double crochet in same stitch. Let's place a stitch marker here also. Wow, my stitch marker matches my yarn. Okay, now let's make another half double crochet. Let's see, here. So, one, two, three, four, here five six let's see there's more one more here six seven eight nine one more here, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Fifteen, sixteen, one more here, seventeen, let's see, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty here in our last you can add more you can add less here because you know if you are going to use a thinner yarn you will have here more rows so on the side you are going to need to make more half double crochet just count your stitches here so you are making here on the other side the same number of stitches okay so this is our starting chain this is our last chain here and now let's see you can add more here you know just turn and and add more one one more row of half double crochet how many do you want now chain one and let's see here let's make also half double crochet so one half double crochet here and let's move our stitch marker This is how you design a pattern. Just try things. I'm not saying that it's easy, but it's fun. Okay, and now let's add here half double crochet. One in first stitch. Two here when we have chain. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
seven, eight, so two here, nine, ten, eleven, because here we have a big gap, twelve, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. is our last 37 so we have 37 half double crochet here and 20 on the first side now let's rotate our work let's place a stitch marker here Now stitch marker matches my crochet hook. Okay, now chain one and half double crochet here. So let's make 20 half double crochet on the other side. One. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, so two here in this space, so eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nine. 
Okay, so now here and for a nice touch here, let's make chain one and I'll show you. So if you need, you can add two more rows here on one more row of half double crochet and when you are going to put this together it will match perfect so let's see I will make here one single crochet and I'll show you why so this part will be on your forehead you know so let's add here single crochet and i show you what i want to make by adding single crochet on the top of our cover B. So single crochet in every stitch and two single crochet in chain space. You can add half double crochet if you want, doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want, you know? Because this is your cowl, your beanie, and you can make everything you want to be perfect for you. I know here I added I did three single crochet. Now again three. It will be a little ruffled on the end. Please tell me if you want a crochet pattern for this comfortable cowl. And I have to watch the video because, you know, I'm just to create it now with you. The green and orange one, it's a little bit different. So this one, it's unique and this is just for you. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to add a little ruffle here. So, um, let's chain one. 
and let's make a reverse single crochet and for this one I think it's called crab stitch also so now I'm using my seven millimeters crochet hook and for this one okay let's make one more here So let's make crab stitch or reverse single crochet. So chain one and don't turn your work, just work in reverse. So insert the hook into the next stitch and make a regular, regular single crochet. So insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops on our hook. So insert the hook. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. I think this is a nice finish for your work. I use this stitch on my mixed media sweater you can find this pattern in my Ravelry and Etsy and I will add it also on my shop you know I have a website I will put the link in the description box down below okay so reverse single crochet in every stitch and we'll see if you don't like it you can add just single crochet I hope you will like it Tell me if you watched my Shelly Bean tutorial and if you like it, you know, if your Shelly Bean is too small, you can do the same thing to make it bigger. Also, you can find the written pattern in my Ravelry Etsy shop. I'm on pay hip now and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account it's creative.anaviv 
on Facebook, it creative Anna Viv. And if you buy a pattern from Etsy and uh, you are going to write a review, I will send you one of my crochet patterns of your choice for free. Also, if you're gonna share any items made from my crochet patterns, I will send you also a free crochet pattern of your choice, but you have to send me your receipt copy from Etsy or Ravelry or from my website. Okay, so we have a few more stitches. And we are done here. Okay. So this is how our beanie looks so far, our cowl beanie. And let's find again our, so this is our wrong this is our wrong side and this is our right side. Now to close it. So this is our wrong side. So put the wrong side facing you. Let's see. Sorry, I have to do this off the camera. So this is our wrong side. So fold your beanie like this and we are going to close it with slip stitch or single crochet hook here and pull a loop like this. Now chain one and let's make single crochet in every stitch. I know we have 20 stitches on one side and 21 even 22 on the other side, but we can do this. And it's going to be perfect, believe me. I choose to make single crochet and not slip stitch because I think this is better for this kind of cowl beanie because it's a bulky yarn and it will look not so good if we are going to make slip stitch. But you can make any kind of stitch you want.
Okay, so let's remove this stitch marker and let's remove this one also. And this is our last stitch. Okay, I will place a stitch marker here because I want to show you. This is our wrong side. You are going to turn your beanie inside out, your cowl beanie. And see, it looks beautiful. So, this is your top. top. And this is how your beanie cowl looks like now and let's do another thing here so you turn your cowl inside out and now let's add here I'm going to show you so We are going to make like this because I want this loop to be on my right side now. See? Now chain one. It looks perfect. And with our 9mm hook. Let's make chain two and one double crochet in every stitch. Yeah, I am creating the creating creating sorry this pattern right now with you and I love it so double crochet around in every You can try your beanie now because for a cowl it's perfect for sure. And you can see if you want to use a smaller hook or a bigger hook. Because here you can adjust how your beanie will fit you. So double crochet in every stitch around. And you have two ends to weave in when you are going to finish this convertible cowl. 
You love me, don't you? <laughs> For this. Okay. Sorry. And I have a surprise for you. Surprise, okay. I will have a giveaway here on YouTube. And I have a wonderful contributor. It's another YouTuber. You have to stay tuned to find out what it's all about but I'm so happy for this I'm delighted so now slip stitch in our second chain of our starting chain and now let's chain two again and let's make one front post double crochet here place our stitch marker let's make another one front post double crochet and one back post double crochet two front post double crochet and one back post double crochet see with this kind of finishing you add more rows to your beanie so you can play with stitches so for the front post double crochet yarn over insert the hook right here from left to right behind the stitch from the previous row so insert the hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull the two yarn over pull the two so two front post and for the back post yarn over and set the hook from the back and this is back post double crochet so two front post and one back post two front post and one back post It's cute. 
to front August. And one back post. Two front post. And one back post. You can make three front post and two back post. It's up to you. So two back post. And one, oh, sorry, two front post and one back post. Okay. Yeah, I said da. Da means years in Romanian language. What other other languages do you speak? Let me know in the comment down below. me know where do you live tell me something about you what is your favorite thing to crochet looks like now I'm in a bini mood <laughs> bini cowl mood so two front post double crochet and one back post double crochet two front post one back post Okay, and now I will use my smaller hook, slip stitch here, and I'm going to show you again. I will not cut the yarn here, I will place the, let me think, here. I will place here the crochet hook and I will do like this. And our convertible cowl is now complete. Yeah, it's a very fast and easy project. So this is our part when well it's finishing, right? So this is so this part will be on your forehead. This part I show you. So for the cowl you can put this while the side up or down on top or on on the bottom. And now I have here a chain. You can make this chain any number of chains you want. Okay, you have to measure here. Let's see, mine is, let's see, how long it is mine. Mine it has, let me see, so 
this one is 39 but it's 39 oh it's 39 inches so it's 39 inches that means 99 centimeters but i think it's a little bit longer that i need so maybe 25 inches it will be perfect so now you want this part of the, of the beanie to be so this is the part you don't want to see when you are wearing your beanie so we are starting here and let's see from here let's count beside this one so this one is one two and let's do this here on three or four here okay And you are going to place your string here. Like this. Easier. Here it's a little bit, little bit tricky because you have to count your rows. You can place few stitch markers on your way. Okay, and now you are going to string this to close this and make a knot or bow. And this is your cute, cute, cute beanie. Also, it can be a bun beanie, you know, you can, or ponytail beanie. So, what do you think? You can also use this string, this chain to close your cowl. If you are going to use this one like a cowl, you can put it on the half way here, in the half of the cowl, and string it, and close it. So, please tell me, what do you think about this crochet tutorial? Please, Show me your pictures, tag me, tag me in your pictures. I will be very, very happy to see your items made with my crochet patterns or tutorials. 
and I'll show you. Please tell me what do you think about this. And tell me if you want a crochet tutorial for this one. This could be a packet. So when I made it, I was thinking about a packet. But after this, I didn't. I I don't think it's good for a packet. But I don't know. It could be a it could be a phone case. Uh, tablet case if you make it bigger it's very easy and you can attach here a strap and it could be a nice bag or camera case you know so please comment down below if you want a crochet tutorial for this packet, this case, bag, pouch. <laughs> okay, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give a thumb up to this video, share with your friends and I'll see you next time. Take care. And I love you all. Bye.